Hi folks, quick update. I've had a lot of inbound requests, emails and messages and such for an update on the plasma. Um, it has taken me a bit longer than I wanted to get it going. Um, the reason is that I've been quite busy on the mill, so I guess that's a good problem to have. But uh, some big steps here, so I wanted to, to sort of jump back in and bring everyone up to speed. Um, I had the house upgraded to 200 amp service this uh, just two days ago, which was the big bottleneck. So you can see the new panel over there. And the electricians went ahead and wired up my Hypertherm 65, which you can see is there, sitting there open. I am waiting for some parts from McMaster. Uh, Jim Colt over at Hypertherm, who's super helpful, especially on the pirate forums, um, sent me a PDF, a uh, technical doc off Hypertherm, which describes hooking in the raw arc voltage for the uh, AVHC through Torchmate. And uh, they recommend using some proprietary type cables, not from Hypertherm, but from another company. Uh, I, and I looked into getting those and it wasn't a huge, you know, deal, but they were going to take a couple of, you know, three or four days. And it was a 50 foot minimum and they were, you know, three or four bucks a foot, I think. And so I went on McMaster and I found part number 8237K11, which is a heavy duty 18 gauge, two lead, non-shielded 300 volt cable which should do the trick. It was $3.40 a foot, so I could just buy five or six feet of it, and it'll be here in the morning. And then I bought the strain relief, which should work for it, which was part number 7529K132, and that mounts in the chassis. Uh, I'll show a video on this so that the uh, cord doesn't get tugged out. Um, so tonight I'm going to go ahead and fill the uh, bed with water. I've got to get some final hookup done. I need to clean up. Um, and then hopefully in the next day I should have the machine up and running. Um, quick update though too, which is major work, is um, the air compressor system. Long story short, I ended up having to send my air dryer back to Harbor Freight. It was, uh, it was seemed to be defective and I was surprised at how good they were on the customer service. They sent me a new one. Um, what I've done for now is I've actually run the motor guard filter um, right at the beginning of the system because my concern was this compressor is new and I think it was pushing some oil through even the 5 micron filter. doesn't make any sense to me, but um, I figured that motor guard is an absolute fail safe. I know I should have that um, mounted close to the plasma, but uh, I'll get there. Um, but then more importantly, what I did was I took finally decided on going with half inch uh, black steel pipe so I've got some more permanent uh, setup now, which is really helpful. I got tired of swapping things in and out and adjusting things all the time. And what I've also done, let's see if I can get a picture of it here, is um, I've run 20 feet of that pipe along the back wall and looped it back. And what I'll do is I'll end up mounting that at an angle so that it all drains down. And that extra sort of 20 some feet, um, it goes straight from the compressor tank to that 20 feet, then to the air dryer. That should help it cool down a little bit and help um, help it drain some natural moisture out. Probably overkill, but I'm looking to have a pretty solid air system here. So again, a lot more to come. Just want to give you a quick update. Thanks, folks.